Hi, welcome back. I'm Pev Gamer, and I would like to start off with apologizing for the poor quality in these videos. I used to have a better camera if you see my Fallout series before it was removed, but I have no idea where it is, so I've just been using this kind of style, and uh, it's not the best, and I do apologize for this, but I hope you guys can overlook that. Now, today I'll be starting off with showing you how to make the Pev Gamer Sword. Um, it's a very simple thing. It's just something I have. You need infinity, infinity one, sharpness five, knockback two, power or five, and punch two. Now, if you want to make this on creative mode or so, you would just go to, uh, no. You would go to tools. That's what it is. Sorry. Oh no no it's combat. Uh, you would take. Uh, where is it? Power 5. Punch 2. Infinity 1. Infinity 1, sorry. Sharpness 5. And... Knockback 2. I think that was it. Oh, knockback. Knockback 2. Here we are. No, wait, I think that was it. Was it... Oh, did I forget punch? No, I have punch. Alright, so then you would go... Ooh, hello, Gollum and Villager. You would go to an anvil. Put in a diamond sword. Obviously, rename it. Pev Gamer's Sword. Gamer's Sword. You add the sharpness. You add knockback. You add infinity. infinity. And you add punch. And power. And that's how you get a Pev Gamer's Sword. It's actually pretty useful too. If you're one of those people who like to use the cheats and go into creative and survival, sometimes I do that. I did it just to build this rough draft thing and then kind of survive in it for a while. Works pretty well. And uh, it's fun rebuilding stuff. I don't know if I've shown you this, but built Hell's Kitchen just for the heck of it. It's not that good of quality, but it's pretty cool. But I think when well, the place where the mobs were spawning inside. Nope. Oh, here. Uh, for spiders, I think it killed it in one shot. Oh, maybe not. I guess it kills all mobs with two shots. Um, it keeps away creepers pretty well. I've always used this sword for, for survival when it comes to uh, that. Because anything with knockback really for creepers. Because good method to get away. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good thing. I love it because, you know, it's my own sword. And it's raining great. So, uh, yeah, I would not be mad if any of you guys use this the whole reason why the tutorial is and yeah it's a pretty useful once again so yeah put that back in the secret little chest so, I always keep mine on me whenever I want to go back into survival and I'll give you guys a quick example of how it works in, to say, huh. Alright, you know what, I'll just do it with all the mobs. I guess or all that it's really useful for. It works pretty well with, uh, say, a bunch of zombies. Oop. Hitting the knocks back, so if you're low on health, you can run away. Um, it also helps for, oh, I just put T in the chat, uh, zombie pigmen, even though they're neutral, and, but if you want to get, like, gold nuggets or whatever, it's pretty good damage. And finally, the creeper. Oh, come here, my good friend. So, if you don't want him to blow up anything, just knock him back. Hold. 
and special kill. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, comment or post in the bottom. And uh, likes and subscriptions are always appreciated. Thanks, guys. Bye.